Let's do. Basil, garlic, pine nuts, olive oil, salt and pepper and parmesan. Very simple. I bought some uh, lovely basil in the um, uh, organic market just now and I've measured out four ounces. And here it is. Four ounces of very fresh looking basil. Now, it's not all, always easy to get fresh basil but um, here it is, we're in the middle of the summer, and there it is, ready to whiz. Now to that, the recipe says, um, where is it? Put the basil and the garlic and the pine nuts in the processor. So I've got to get um, four nice big <coughs> fat cloves of garlic. Excuse me a moment. Let's bring it out with this beautiful low track garlic. Pink garlic from La Trek, Lai Rose de La Trek. Here it is. Now, four of these lovely fat cloves will do. I can prise them apart. There we are. Four of them. I get one of my nice knives. And take the skins off them. It's a bit of a tedious process, especially with new garlic, where it <clears throat> tends to be nice and moist, but it does keep the skin sticking to the clove. Um, there we go. It's taken some off. There we go. Number two, number three coming up. There we are. See how. Beautifully firm and, and and lovely looking it is. And one of the things with new garlic, <coughs> one of the advantages of new garlic is that the the central there isn't a central um, uh, stem in it that you have to cut out. When it gets older, the stem grows. So that's that's the stem there, but it hasn't really grown tough and dry yet. So. Uh, you don't have to cut it out, which saves a bit of time. In in a month or two, I'd have to cut that out because it just doesn't. It's not very nice. Okay, so I'm going to um, <clears throat> I'm just going to crush that to make it easier. I'm going to crush it to make it easier to mix in with the <clears throat> the basil and the oil. And I'm going to do that with a bit of um, salt, which just uh, eases the process. And this is going to be a bit noisy. But crumb. If you hold your, your hand over it, it stops it jumping out. There we go. That's looking good. See, it's coming. Get it down into a bit of a pulp. That will help with um, smoothing it into the into the sauce in the mixer. There we are. It takes about a minute to do this really worth doing and it will come it's beginning to pulp up nicely see it's pulping up otherwise it comes out in the sauce a bit lumpy and uh, not so pleasant because it's actually a very garlicky sauce this is pesto sauce to have with pasta and uh, it's a pretty pretty garlicky but delicious so there you go there it is more or less ready I'll give it one more go Right, okay, we're going to add that to the to the basil in the mixer. Uh, what should we do with this, I think? Here we go. That goes in here. Lovely. Look at that. <laughs> That's serious garlic. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, as far as I remember, I think I just add the oil to that. Hold on a second. Um, and the pine nuts. Ah, okay, I'll get some pine nuts. Uh, here we are. How many pine nuts does the recipe say? Meredith's always disappointed if I leave the pine nuts out. You can use walnuts, and pine nuts are expensive, so um, walnuts would do. Um, an ounce. 
quads and arms. Let me just, uh, I better weigh this, Make do it properly. Here we go. Interesting, one teaspoon, two teaspoons. I would think two and a half teaspoons of um, pine nuts, something like that. In they go, like that. Uh, really, they are expensive, so they're, they're, it's, it's worth not, to, not losing any. And it says here 10 tablespoons of olive oil. That seems an awful lot of olive oil, but actually, <clears throat> of course, it's a big sauce and it will serve a lot of people. Okay, so this is our best olive oil, kept in a nice dark bottle. Comes from Italy, it's Tuscan, and it's made by our friend Keith, uh, Keith Richmond. And uh, this was this uh, this last year, 2010, and we helped we helped with the harvest. Here we go. So I'm going to add tenish tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, of course, the, the, the olive oil you can buy in shops now is just it's very good. Um, we happen to be lucky just to know this lovely guy in Tuscany, so that's what I use. And this is a good place to use it because it's a, it's a raw sauce, it's uncooked. Um, so I'm going to put that back on. Do I add the salt and pepper now? I've forgotten. Um, whiz, adding oil. Yeah, season afterwards. Or season after, yeah. So I'm going to whiz it now into a nice smooth sauce. Here we go. Pulsing is quite good rather than using the on button because then you, you can see what the progress is. Ooh, that looks good. Beautiful green colour. Take the top off and just ease it down a bit <coughs> so that it all gets, all the leaves get mashed up. Ooh. Mm, beautiful. Okay, off we go. There. Now I think that's probably about right. I'm going to taste some. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. Mmm, garlic. Oh. Okay, that has to be transferred to a bowl now. And um, that's what we'll do now. This goes into a bowl, a handy bowl. And we're going to add some um, salt and pepper to it. Ooh, look at that green, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful green colour. Just lovely. Catching the light there. Beautiful. There we go. Um, so we season that. And then for, I mean, you can use that on tomato salads and things, of course, as it is. But for the pesto sauce, you add Parmesan cheese. Grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, so now the tricky business of adding a bit of salt. And you just have to do this um, as you go and taste it, really. So some nice sea salt, in this case Malden salt. That's about a teaspoon. And I'm going to mix that in. Here we go. Mix that well in with a little bit of pepper, which is here. There we go. And then we have a little tasting. Normally, I think I'd probably do it with my fingers, but as I'm doing it on camera, I won't. So. Mm. A bit more salt, I think. I think the Parmesan <coughs> has <coughs> a salty quality to it, so just be careful. You can always add more once the Parmesan goes in. Okay, now 
Um, four ounces of parmesan. I have to get the parmesan. And cheesemaker Dominic in uh, Catra. It's his his parmesan. He sells the parmesan from Italy. Put that over there momentarily. Get myself a, a nice grater and a piece of and a plate. Okay. Here we go, four ounces. That's quite a lot, four ounces. So, here we go. Of course, all this might have been done beforehand, but it wasn't. So, you're seeing it actually in real time, which is fun. Here we go. This bit is a bit like watching paint dry, but um, be patient. Uh, it may take some time. Okay, so that's about two ounces, another two to go quite a lot of parmesan but boy does it taste good it really really does and then when you've mixed it all together when you make the pasta you just add a little of the pasta water to the um, to the sauce that you know, I mean we won't use all this sauce for our pasta but um, you add a little bit of hot, hot water the, the water the pasta is cooking in to the to the sauce that you're going to mix in now I'm going to weigh this I'm a bit of a weighing person a real cook doesn't weigh. Um, he or she just judges it. But there we are. See what that is. Wow. That's pretty good. That's one one more ounce to go. So there we go. Oh, it's beautiful parmesan. Absolutely beautiful. Makes you want to eat it. Well, we are going to eat it. Okay. Uh, just a bit more. You never have too much parmesan. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that's enough. Now I'm going to fold that in. That's what the recipe says. Fold in the parmesan and taste. Add more seasoning if, if, if you feel it needs it. So here we go. That's just so beautiful, isn't it? That, that green. Look at that. In goes the parmesan. Voila. is the nice bit right at the end. There we go. Can't wait to boil the pasta and eat, which we won't do for a little bit. Um, I made some the other day and then kept it overnight in the fridge or even two nights and it discolored in the fridge and it really wasn't as nice. Um, so, I mean, this, this is quite a lot of sauce, of course. You, you can make half the amount, really. And probably I should have done, but anyway, I was making the recipe. <clears throat> so it's best to eat it as, as quickly as possible while the, this beautiful green remains. Um, and the basil is as fresh as you can have it. Okay, so I'm going to taste that. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give some to the camera person, but... Um, yeah. Ah, camera person's willing to. Here we are. There. There. There it is. Mmm. Oh, that's ah. beautiful. Ah. That ah. is beautiful. Oh, mm. good. Okay. Approved. Mm. Approved. Okay, there you mm. are. Pesto sauce. And that will be on a pasta tonight. We'll boil the pasta. It takes about uh, eight or nine minutes to boil whole wheat pasta. Um, and then you ease some of this sauce with a bit of the pasta water, add it and eat it as, as soon as possible because it's nicer, hotter. Okay, pesto sauce.